deep fake videos. Just think about the implications from the security of your bank account to the American democracy itself. Um, so far, deep fakes have mostly been entertaining, like Hollywood resurrecting dead actors, TikTok stars impersonating celebrities. But cyber spies have used them, too, to make world leaders say and do anything they want. So how can anyone be sure that what we're seeing and hearing is actually what we should be seeing and hearing? I'm joined by two people who know more about deep fakes than anyone. Hao Li is a pioneer in the deep fake industry. He's a computer scientist, innovator, and entrepreneur. He's the founder and CEO of Pin Screen Inc. and is a distinguished fellow at the University of California at Berkeley. And Jesse Richards is a visual effects artist who has worked with celebrities like Will Smith, Tom Brady, Alicia Keys, and Pink. And you've probably seen his very popular deep fake videos on TikTok. He also made the deep fake of me that we just showed you before the break. Welcome to both of you. Um, how I, I want to begin with you. Um, you know, witnessing is like the foundation of our democracy and our justice system. And now I don't even know if witnessing is going to be, you know, fair anymore or trustworthy anymore. How can we tell if something is a deep fake? Yeah, I think, first of all, um, we have to always assume that the technology is there, right? So it means that you can't really... Um, you know, trust any video that you would you can see, right? And um, there are a couple of uh, clues uh, that you can uh, you know use. For example, if you see something that's very blurry, um, and if something doesn't look right, especially around the mouth and around the eyes, those are obvious signs that it's something that it's done poorly using a deep fake. But one thing that's important is that with a little bit of work, uh, production work, and also by tweaking the algorithm. It's actually possible to create uh, deepfakes that are, you know, perfect. So, I mean, I'm looking at the deepfake of myself on the screen, and obviously our hair is a little bit different, and maybe my forehead a little different. But other than that, it's pretty darn hard to, to tell, Jesse. How hard was it to make this, and how long did it take? Uh, yeah, so I've been doing this for about two and a half years now. So doing something like this takes about four to five hours of masking and editing. But then I let the program run from anywhere from one to one day to like two weeks. But this clip in particular took two days to make. So how a lot of people, you know, are like Jesse, they're very um, forthright about their, their deep faking. I mean, his TikTok is awesome. It's super entertaining and everybody goes there because that's what they want to see. They know what they're seeing and it's a spectacle. It's lovely. There are a lot of people who may not say a word about it and it is sinister. And um, that's what I think most of us are, are, are really concerned about. I think I read somewhere that we have likely all seen a deep fake already and not even known it. Is that really true? Um, that's hard to, uh, hard to answer, right? I mean, if you've seen, um, you know, heard about the uh, famous Tom Cruise uh, video, you know, a lot of them actually went viral. Um, there's a lot of, you know, if you ask me where deepfakes have been mostly used, um, they've been mostly used in pornography, right? So unconsensual, uh, non-consensual uh, porn content uh, is actually where they're um, widely spread, unfortunately. Yeah, this is one of the deepfakes you were talking about, the Tom Cruise video. It's, it's nearly impossible to detect this one because the person who's doing it is a is an impersonator so he already has the voice down pat the mannerisms then it's just a matter of getting the you know the face um supplanted and it's like i said it is one of the best things that i've seen on the internet so jesse what about detection right. technology if my own eyes aren't good enough jesse is there some kind of machine out there that's going to do the job for me there isn't uh, there isn't much out there yet to scan and detect a deep fake but I honestly would say the human eyes are the best detectors. Like the human eye subconsciously knows what a face looks like when, and like how they move. Even the best deep fakes aren't really perfect yet. There are some subtleties and movements that deep fakes can't replicate yet. But I would say people who do make deep fakes are the best people to detect what is a deep fake and what is real. Well, that's not me, that's for sure. Let okay, me, how last question, and this here. is an important one. Oh yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, actually, um, maybe I can uh, add something uh, in the research community. Um, I mean, we're also actively working on deepfake detection. So uh, in the past year, there has been actually a lot of advancement in there. So um, deepfakes, for instance, that specifically focus on uh, lip synchronization with what they're actually saying 
are uh, one of the most effective methods actually in detecting deep fakes. Well, that makes me feel better that at least there's something that's in the works. Um, thank you to both of you, uh, Howie and Jesse Richards. It's such a fascinating science, and thanks for making that one too. It was really enjoyable and entertaining, no to say the least, and, and super creepy. <laughs> thanks, guys. <laughs> thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.